sounds are um, obviously tolerated uh, for many, many, many years as long as the sound level is within a, a reasonable range. After a concert, there's always a rash of patients that show up in my office because they have a temporary threshold or hearing shift downwardly. So recreationally, we're exposed to a lot of noise. Employment-wise, a lot of people work in an employment environment that is very loud. Construction people, people who work in airplanes and airports have a, a fair amount of exposure sometimes. And if the length of exposure exceeds the time that's tolerable, they could develop some hearing impairment. And so I see these people because they present with hearing loss. And associated with hearing loss almost always is a ringing sound in your ear, which is called tinnitus. And tinnitus is, is a brain signal that the brain is hearing a sound, which is really a phantom sound because it's not there. And what it really is is damage to the nerve in the frequency range that an outside sound would stimulate that nerve at.